Schoology's built-in record tool is a great way to easily insert your voice and presence into your online classroom. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. I'm going to go into my Wired Writing Final Project folder. And once again, I'm going to use the Page tool. So I'll use the Add Materials button and select Add Page Text Block. Whenever you see a more link anywhere in Schoology, you'll know that you will typically find the record tool. So when students submit assignments in a Dropbox, they get a screen very similar to this one, and they will also be able to use the More button to find the record feature to send you a message. So within a page, I can type some text. And it's always helpful to do this to direct students to find the recording because it is will be linked toward the bottom of the page. And so it's always helpful to make sure they know to click the play button to listen to your message. But inserting your recording is a piece of cake. You simply go to the more button, click the record feature, and decide if you want audio or video. So I'll start with audio. Often at this point, I'll get a message about Schoology needing access to my flash player. Always say allow. And then um, I always click remember changes so it doesn't come up every single time. And then recording begins after I click the button and make a sound. So I've clicked the button and obviously I am talking and you can see how my time is kept along here. I have heard, not officially, but unofficially, that there's a 10 minute limit on recordings. I've never recorded anything 10 minutes long. I've only done about two or three and haven't had any problems. When you're finished, click the stop button and you can preview it clicking the play button here or simply attach it if you're happy with it. And you'll see that it attaches along the bottom here. I'm going to select the more button and you'll notice now that my record feature is no longer available. So I can't record two audio messages per page or do an audio and a video message. I can do one or the other. I'm going to select the create button and I'm going to click on the title of this page to see what it will look like to students. My recording is still processing, so you'll see the little green marks here. And if I hover over these green arrows, it says that the file is being converted. And while it's being converted, someone can click on this and it will open their MP3 recorder, but it will actually download the file. As soon as it's done converting, they'll have a little play button here that will work. So let me show you how you would do the same thing if you want to see how to do video. I'm going to add in just a new page. I'll type in video message. Go to my more button, select record. This time I'll do video audio. Then often you'll get the message where you need to allow Schoology to access your webcam and then you select the record button. My webcam comes on and there I am. I can record my message. When I finish, click stop and attach that recording. Great, and I'm all set. So that's how you use the Schoology Record tool to record audio or video messages for your students.